I'd like to shift topics here a little bit and uh, focus a little bit on therapies. So back in 1990, uh, some creative and rather courageous uh, transplant surgeons uh, recognizing that the liver is the primary source of the abnormal protein in the familial form of disease, uh, undertook a rather straightforward um, intervention, which was to change factories to transplant um, uh, livers. Uh, and this first happened in Sweden. Um, with uh, shortly thereafter followed by uh, liver transplants uh, uh, in Boston. Uh, for years, uh, at least the next decade, it was the primary mode of treatment. Uh, but we recognize that there could be progressive amyloid cardiomyopathy despite a successful orthotopic liver transplant. Uh, and that's what really led to the um, evolution of medical therapies. Um, the first therapy to come along uh, uh, was really the brainchild of Jeff Kelly, a, um, a brilliant um, biophysical uh, chemist uh, at the Scripps Research Institute. And he came up with a philosophy, a hypothesis, that you could restabilize misfolding TTR um, by um, investigating and identifying uh, small molecules that were uh, thyroxin mimetics. And by introducing these um, could result in TTR tetramer stabilization, which in clinical trial proved to inhibit uh, the progression of neurologic disease. Uh, those TTR um, uh, agents, diflunosol and tefamidus, are oral agents uh, and have been through um, uh, registration clinical trials. Um, I think at this point, our, uh, the proper perspective is that those agents slow but do not stop disease. And more recently, um, Michael and Jim have been involved in revolutionary um, uh, phase three trials that investigate uh, RNA modifying agents. Um, so I'd like to get your perspectives on these TTR gene silencing agents. And we're specifically talking about patisserin and inotercin. Um, Jim will let you lead off here and your observations, and we will uh, again rely on Akshay for perspectives on the potential application of these agents for uh, familial amyloid cardiomyopathy. So, Jim, what do you think? I think it's a very exciting time for TTR amyloidosis. I think the liver transplant clearly was a step forward, but not a cure. I think the work that you did, you're being very modest, that you were the big leader on the Deflunazole study. The Deflunazole study also was a large step forward, but these gene silencing drugs, I think, really have essentially stopped progression of the neuropathy, and they both uh, are home runs as far as I see it. The neuropathy clearly is um, stabilized, maybe even improved to a little uh, degree. Uh, the inotercin potentially has a platelet problem, but with monitoring, I think that can be avoided. Uh, so people ask me, which drug would you go on? And I think it really becomes a very practical thing for patients. One of them is an intravenous drug. The other is a subcutaneous drug. One of them needs more monitoring than the other, and I think, uh, but I think both are very good drugs, and that both should be used. Michael. So, uh, well, very similar sentiments as Jim. A liver transplant works fantastic, but not for everybody. So there's some genetic variants that do better than others. So I think for certain uh, uh, patients who carry certain genetic variants, I'm certainly more hesitant to, to consider a liver transplant. Um, uh, I agree that the stabilizers 
seem to slow the rate of disease, but disease still progresses, and the stabilizers seem to, uh, sorry, the knockdown drugs, the silencers, seem to halt disease progression. And that's been remarkable to, to witness on many levels, because this is a familial disease, it's inherited, so there's often generations affected, and it could be quite emotional for, for patients to now see a different future. So that's been uh, remarkable uh, to, to, to be a part of. Um, in terms of which agent, uh, Petisteran versus Inotericin, I think Jim summarized it you know, accurately and eloquently. One sub Q, one's intravenous, uh, one has some safety monitoring, one has no safety monitoring, uh, but both uh, are home runs.